One of the most proficient birds of prey is the hawk. The hawk's vision, three times stronger than that of humans, allows them to precisely locate and attack their prey. An unlucky snake has been captured. The powerful talons of the hawk prevents the snake from escaping. Eventually, the hawk swiftly takes the prey back to its nest to feed its young. The vast calves serves as shelters for millions of bats. As the sun sets, bats begin their foraging flights. Facing the significant challenge of predators awaiting a massive feast, the hawk, a newcomer, seizes the opportunity to hunt. It exceeds its talents to capture the prey. With just a few attempts, this skull becomes proficiently executed with such a large number of bats. The hawk gains numerous opportunities to refine its hunting skills. But the only disadvantage is their limited view on the sides. With this vulnerability, the fierce harpy carries the monkey back to its nest. The young during a few weeks each year, iguanas gather more on the mainland for breeding. This is the time when hawks hunt iguanas. Iguanas can run. Their speed must be swift, but compared to the hawk's flying speed, this method becomes futile. The talons of the hawk expand, tightly grasping the iguana. Several powerful strikes with a force of over 400 psi are sufficient to cause the iguana's demise. The baby hawk awaits its mother to bring back lunch. This prey is enough to satisfy the hawk and its offspring for a whole entire day. At the park, the cobra cleverly spotted a baby python hidden under the grass. Also being hungry and with the ease of hunting as the baby python was non-venomous, the kookaburra swiftly secured its lunch. Initially, the digestion was challenging due to the python's body coiling tightly around the bird's mouth. But eventually, the kookaburra managed to complete this meal. In the conservation area, an eagle appeared while restraining a snake with its talons. The dexterity of its beak helps the eagle handle the prey while avoiding the venom. This meal is quite intriguing and perhaps it will lead to more hunting and overs by the eagle targeting snakes as a prey. In the Sonoran Desert, among the prickly beer cacti, there is sustenance, there is plenty of prey, but catching them proves challenging sometimes. The Harry's Hawks, this family, is ready for a hunt to begin the new day. They collaborate like a pack of wolves in the sky to attack rabbits. 
This tactic aids them in successfully capturing their prey. The meal is sufficient for the entire family for today. These avian predators, with astonishing flight speed and attacks, quickly captures duster than anticipated. In the United States, the great horned owl is the largest owl species. As dusk falls, the great horned owl's eyes are just to optimize its vision and low light. But the key to its hunting success lies in its audacity prowess. The owl's ears, positioned atop its head, rotate at a 270 degree angle, capturing every sound made by the mouse. And as its wings take flight, the great horned owl homes in precisely on the prey's location. The hunting process occurs so swiftly that the prey scarcely realizes what is happening. The bird with the fastest flying speed is the peregrine falcon. They have two ways to pursue the prey. The first is a direct chase, effective but not highly efficient. The second method involves stooping like an arrow to dive into the prey. This diving speed reaches around 200 miles per hour, an incredibly swift pace that leaves pigeons no chance to react. The success rate with the second method is higher, so the majority of the peregrine falcons opt for this technique and hunting all the times. All the bird species chooses the prey that's suitable for their body size. Yet, for eagles, even lizards find it challenging to escape their attacks. To completely overpower the prey, eagles tightly grip and deliver powerful strikes. It takes a little over two hours for an eagle to complete hunting a lizard. Baby animals are a favored prey for most predators. An eagle has just found itself a baby gazelle, adding a new item to its menu. In the national park, the sparrow hawk is dominating the cocoa. Although the cocoa is fiercely resisting, it lacks the strength and body size to prevail. The sparrow hawk confidently seizes the winning opportunity, remaining calm, seemingly preparing for the meal to follow shortly. There are around 30 bird species worldwide that hunt snakes, and this beautiful looking bird is one of them. The bird's beak targets the snake's head, but always avoids the venomous fangs of the prey, until the snake's nervous system is disrupted. The bird excellently subdues the dangerously venomous snake. In Titusville, the snake is using all remaining strength to escape the hawk's grab. However, due to the significant difference in strength, the hawk has triumphed over the snake. This is lunch for the victor and its offspring.
In Africa, one of the largest eagle species is the Marshall Eagle. They are the most successful at attacking small hoofed animals, and it's understandable that the Marshall Eagle can catch lizards. However, completely subduing a lizard is not easy. curved and sharp talons of the martial eagle, along with exerting pressure on the lizard's body, take about five hours before the lizard finally gives up and the predator succeeds. In the Sonoran Desert, amidst the shrubs and cacti, small prey animals are all targets for the Harris Hawk. While most other bird species hunt solo, the Harris Hawk hunts in family groups, with multiple individuals working together to hunt rabbits. The young hawk flushes the prey out of hiding while the parents prepare for the final attack. In this way, even rabbits and slightly larger species become prey for the Harris hawk. As a small raptor with short wide wings and a long tail, the sparrow hawk is a unique looking predator. It possesses long slender toes with relatively short and stout inner and hind toes that aid in catching prey easily. The sparrowhawk's small bill is primarily used for plucking feathers and disassembling prey, rather than delivering killing blows or cutting. When dealing with struggling victims, the hawk employs a kneading technique, using its talons to squeeze and puncture. Its long legs come in handy when handling larger prey that peck and flap, helping to restrain them. The hawk stands on top of its prey to pluck and dismantle it, usually starting with the breast muscles. In this manner, the sparrow hawk can subdue prey larger than itself. In the grassland regions of Africa, Shrikes are known for their habit of capturing insects and small vertebrate animals and impaling them on thorns. It is currently attempting to catch a lizard and does so as a means of storing food. In the South Pole, most penguin species thrive, typically laying only one, two eggs at a time and caring for their offspring until they mature. During their developmental stage, Baby penguins are highly vulnerable to attacks from predators, especially skuas. Skuas are long-distance migratory birds with a wingspan of 48 inches that allows them to soar and easily locate prey. Given the relatively feeble combat abilities of penguins, Skuas quickly acquire a baby penguin as their meal. As a native species of Africa, the secretary bird is a large bird of prey with a body resembling an eagle and legs similar to those of a crane. They typically hunt small rodents, amphibians, and reptiles. These two ambitious secretary birds are attempting to capture a rabbit with their long legs. The stomping power of a secretary bird is five times its body weight, making it quite adept at hunting this prey. On Skomer Island in Wales, 
a great black-backed seagull is swallowing a rabbit in one big gulp. This scene is truly astonishing but also understandable, as seagulls have a hinged jaw that allows them to consume large prey. In La Jolla, CA, a seagull is attacking a squirrel. They are highly adaptable foragers, capable of catching a variety of prey opportunistically. Their sharp beaks and hunting instincts enable seagulls to attack and kill their prey. They are omnivorous, feeding on both live animals and carrion. Residing in the Northern Hemisphere, the Golden Eagle is a very large carnivorous bird with a wingspan of up to 7.8 inches. They have a 20% success rate in hunting, based on 115 surveyed hunting attempts, so this attack on a dog can be seen as a form of training for hunting. Across Sub-Saharan Africa, the Bush Shrike is a fairly common predator in this region. It is currently attempting to attack a snake with precise strikes to the head while skillfully avoiding the snake's venomous fangs. The snake seems to have given up, but the bird shows no mercy. Its powerful strikes have subdued the snake, and this is likely to be the bird's meal. In Sri Lanka, a kukal is attacking a cobra. The length of the kukal's talons can be up to 68 to 76 percent of the length of its leg bones. With its long beak and a relatively strong attack force, the kukal instills fear in the cobra, prompting it to flee. 12. Except for the polar regions and South America, crows are found all over the world. They are known for their intelligence and adaptability, as demonstrated in this snake attack. The crow circles around the snake to distract it, preventing the snake from pinpointing the direction of the crow's attack. The predator takes advantage of this opportunity and goes on the offensive against the snake. Most owls are nocturnal, hunting at night, but the snowy owl is diurnal, especially during the summer. The fringed wing feathers help minimize noise when the snowy owl flaps its wings. Its silent attack is like death itself, and its prey never knows what has struck it. The snowy owl has large eyes with vision 1.5 times that of a human, allowing them to spot prey from a distance. When prey is within their sights, they approach with silent wing beats, and their sharp talons quickly snatch the prey. In the tropical regions of Africa, the slender and brightly colored bird species that predominantly feed on various bee species is the carmine bee eater. After catching a bee, this bird forcefully strikes its beak against a hard surface, causing the bee's venomous stinger to break. Moreover, they also resemble diving birds as they plunge into the water to search for delicious larvae as part of their meal.
thanks to its long legs. The heron is one of the bird species that can stand in the water and catch fish. Combined with its keen eyes, it can observe the precise movements of fish to accurately capture its prey. Nothing poses a challenge for the heron. This is the shocking moment when a seagull attacks a pigeon. The attack is precise and swift. However, the pigeon manages to escape from its grasp. You will think the seagull gives up. But no, it is persistent and the second attack proves successful. This is a well-deserved reward for the seagull's evil. The pelican is attempting to digest the pigeon it has just caught. Its wide mouth connected to the long neck creates a large pouch. The prey is trapped within this enormous mouth and will gradually be swallowed down. It is truly ruthless. The competition for the best nest in preparation for breeding season has begun and birds are vying for their place. This gathering of birds has become a feast for the eagle. A special guest, the crocodile has joined the eagle for the feast. The eagle starts the lavish banquet by catching a bird. During the egg laying season, iguanas have to venture deep into the mainland soil to collect soft earth for building their nests. On the rocky outcrops, hawks have their sights set on the iguanas. Every step deeper into the ground is a danger for the iguanas. The hawk spreads its wings and the iguana turns to run. The escape attempt fails. The hawk's talons capture the iguana. A delicious meal fills the belly of the hawk. The sharp talons and perfect curve of the eagle's claws pierce deep into the flesh of the lizard. It breathes in pain, struggling for relief. Of course, for the lizard, this is impossible. The eagle kills the lizard by snatching it up and slamming it down to the ground repeatedly. When the lizard is no longer breathing, the eagle slowly severs its prey. An unattended nest is the top target of Falkland Island's assassins. Karakaras have found an egg but it doesn't satisfy them enough. A bigger target for Karakaras is baby seabirds. Karakaras directly steal baby seabirds from their mother's embrace. This delicacy is for Karakaras young ones. You usually see snakes as fierce predators. But in these moments, you're not mistaken because a bird is attacking the snake. Both of them have a beautiful appearance, but their nature is completely contrasting. The bird's hard and sharp beak is relentlessly picking at the snake's head. You see, the snake has given up. This is the cruel reality of nature. 
you'll be surprised by the bird attacking the snake. This is an extremely banana snake, but it is being defeated by this small bird. The bird is attacking the snake's head in a familiar manner. However, the snake is very clever and it has pretended to be dead to escape the bird's assault. To survive in nature, you must have survival skills like this snake. The hornbill is a bird species with a rather unique appearance, characterized by its hard and pointed beak. It can eat all kinds of small animals, including snakes. Hornbill has excellent vision, making it easy for them to locate prey for their meals. Look at how flexible its back is when swallowing the prey all. It's really incredible. In Kruger National Park, South Africa, hornbills are ready to seek out a fantastic meal. With their long and sturdy backs, they become formidable predators for various animal species. In 48, snakes are swallowed wall by these hornbills. The meal of the hornbill is quite diverse. They digest small animals and even snakes. This time, the hornbill has captured a turtle. Its hard back allows it to easily pierce through the thick shell and extract the meat of its prey. It may seem brutal, but this is how they survive in the world. It is a source of food to sustain their lives. The owl is a silent predator of the night. As tax fails, all senses come alive. With strong vision and excellent hearing, it listens attentively. The owl's head can rotate 270 degrees, a perfect hunting tool. Target locked, wingspan wide, bingo! This mouse will never know who attacked it. The owl possesses astonishing agility. They fiercely stand up even against some of the largest predators in this place. The flying and attacking techniques of the owl have successfully driven away wolf packs and protected their offspring. Hunting and safeguarding the young are essential actions for the development of a sustainable individual within the owl spaces. One of the notable predators to mention is the heron. They consume a wide range of small animals. Their tall legs and long back make them distinctive compared to other bird species. This enables them to accurately capture their prey with ears. Look at how quickly they catch the mouse, 
Impressive, right? The way they digest their prey is not different from other bird species. The grey heron is on a hunting mission. Each step is careful, quietly approaching the prey when it is unaware of the danger. Swift and agile, its long back has captured the prey accurately. Not every species possesses such a skill. It is a special instinct that allows them to survive in nature. Plains of North America. But what's interesting about this situation is the victim, a snake. The red-tailed hawk's talons tightly grasp the snake impairing its ability to move. Even though it might appear as though it could flee, the search is over when the red-tailed hawk flaps its wings and flies off with the snake. The hornbill captures the attention of onlookers in the African grasslands with its stunning looks, but what actually makes an impression is likely its skill at hunting. Its strong, wide beak may quickly catch prey by digging into the ground. The hornbill effortlessly turns small snakes into its own supper when it gets to them. Speed is a crucial factor for survival. The ground cuckoo possesses 30 kilometers per hour, and that's the speed at which the ground cuckoo dashes across the ground. Quite nimble, isn't it? and nothing phases it. It is even faster than a snake in terms of attack speed. Yes, just a few seconds and the hunt is over. Perhaps the snake didn't even realize what it needed to do when dealing with this bird species. Agility is a must, and birds always demonstrate it. Snakes can never predict the bird's next attack. However, the snake performed a feigned death to make the bird halt its assault. It was the snake's successful display. Otherwise, would the snake survive facing off against the bird? Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section to let us know. Do you know which is the largest eagle in Africa? It's the Marshall Eagle. Yet, hunting a lizard in Africa is no easy feat. Its curved and sharp talons control the prey. But don't forget, you have the ability to move and resist. It is a tug of war between both sides. Unfortunately, the leopard did not succeed in escaping. However, it is a valuable meal for the Marshall Eagle and its hungry offspring away in a meal from their mother. Competition does not come from different species. Within the same bird family, the battle between the hawk and the cocoa rages on fiercely. The hawk maintains the upper hand, 
from towers to wingspan, even down to its flexible beak. However, the Coco still resists. It's instinctual. This situation is challenging for the Coco, but for the hawk, this is a prey after days of hunger. Finally, the hawk ended his hunger and continued his days as the king in the land. In Africa, bird species come in unique forms, but one giant with a shoe-like beak stands out. However, it is the vision that predominantly determines the outcome of the hunt. Other birds have been targeted. It is hard to believe, but it is true. A swift dive is enough to hit the target. A large and sturdy beak, it is a useful tool. The hunt might end, yet it might need another prey for the little ones waiting back at the nest. At Kruger, the waterhole is a frequent gathering spot for nearly all animal species. Marabou storks also rely on it for water. But today is unfortunate. Instead of a hunt, the marabou finds itself entangled in a skirmish with a jackal. Wings could fly, but with the added weight of the jackal, it is impossible. In the end, a predictable outcome unfolds. The marabo becomes a fresh prey, and the jackal's many eat in its pups in the summer season. Zoo, the Marabo stork is the reason why a baby spring book cannot make it back to shore with its mother. The long beak of the Marabo controls this small attack. Sadly, the baby spring book isn't sturdy enough to stand against the attacker, which is five times its size. What if you're in an attacking position but suddenly find yourself in a disadvantageous situation? The brown snake eagle had its prey. A king cobra under control. Confidence and arrogance assured the brown snake eagle of its impending victory. Yet, it was precisely this attitude that caused it to lose that opportunity. The control shifted back to the king cobra, which escaped this unwarranted danger. family goes hunting for their nest-bound chicks. They are proficient snake hunters, yet venomous snakes always pose a hidden danger. However, these mothers still manage to bring back dinner for their young ones. Another eagle attack the diving speed of an eagle reaches up to 320 kilometers per hour, enough to catch a prey of guard. But luckily, for the fox, it remained unharmed. Hello, welcome to Animal Moments channel. Animal Moments is a channel to explore the wild animal world. We bring dramatic, exciting, and creepy scenes when wild animals come across their competitors. Do you love to see wild animals like leopards, lions, tigers, hyenas or hippos fight for their lives? Subscribe to the channel to watch videos that are broadcast regularly every day. I hope you're having a relaxing moment on the channel, Animal Moments. 
goodbye and see you in our next video.